This episode of Royal Key is brought to you by Bet Online. BetOnline.ag is more than just an online betting platform. They boast a focus on the player approach and have built their reputation on offering clients nothing but the best. From cutting edge technology, enticing promotions, and the latest sports betting odds, Bet Online, the best online betting site on the internet. What's going on world brand new episode of royal key this time i'm in michigan state last time i was here i did football about a few months ago now i'm here with dave michigan state basketball the equipment manager what's going on man how you doing i'm doing good how's everything going for you great thanks for coming out to michigan state we love having you here yeah definitely so nike has been an amazing partner for you guys over the years and you guys have some amazing footwear yeah. let's go check it out man sure we're really really blessed to have nike as a footwear company. yeah Okay, Dave, you set aside some awesome shoes here. Let's kind of run them down from oldest to newest. The oldest shoe I got here is probably this limited edition Maui Classic. I think it's about six, seven years now. One year Nike made this special edition Maui Classic. You can see the palm tree. And the unique thing they did is they gave each school a different color shoelace that matched their uniform. And of course we had green ones, but this is the sample. You've been here for 30 years, yeah. so you've been to about three or four Maui Classics. Yeah. I've always I always want to know what happens during the downtime. You got a game after game after game. I usually hit the laundry mat and get the uniforms clean and, and the guys are in film. There really is very limited free time. Yeah. It's great for the fans. This is the Carrier Classic shoe on the game we played on the aircraft carrier that President Obama was at. Veterans Day on 11-11-11. Both us in North Carolina had special shoes. Ours were gray to match our gray camouflage. This day, looking on the boat and seeing the sunset, and it was purple. What? To me, it was my favorite event I've ever been part of, to be wow. honest, with, because of what it represented for our servicemen and women. Definitely, definitely. If you want to piggyback on the other military games that we went to, uh, Ramstein and, and the Armed Forces Classic versus uh, Yukon, okay. and we had green camouflage that time. Nike never misses a beat. These things match the uniform perfectly. Two years ago, we played Arizona out in the 75th anniversary of Pearl Harbor. You know, we had black camouflage. Anytime you can do anything for the servicemen and women, it's it's a win for both teams. Right. Why do you think Michigan State is always a part of these memorable, classic, timeless games? Our former athletic director, Mark Hollis, was a visionary in, in creating some of these events. And right. he understood that there's things that are bigger than basketball. And, and yeah. it's creating experiences for the student athletes. And he did a phenomenal job at that. About five years ago, Nike started creating signature shoes for Michigan State and started with this KD one we wore versus Kentucky. Right. But each year, they come up with a couple different versions of the KD. This is the green and white one. Green and white one in another year. I love the hints of gold in it as yeah, well. Yeah, it kind of accent. Mm -hmm. uh, this was part of the Pro Combat series that Nike did. Okay. We wore an all green with a bronze Spartan head and bronze shoes down in Indiana. And this one, uh, I, I still chuckle. I thought they were gonna fire me this day. We were going on a three game losing streak and uh, Nike created this lime green, all lime green uniform. And we were playing Maryland and they were extremely highly ranked out here right. in the arena. And we went on a heck of a winning streak after that game. So <laughs> maybe lime wasn't so bad. How have you seen the, the jersey and the footwear change over the, the 30 years you've been here? It's weird how it's all coming back to the short shorts and the yeah. tighter jerseys. Right. That's how it was in the 80s, early 80s. Then the 90s came and baggy shorts. Before you had a home and away, and now you got three, four, five uniforms. More KDs here. Yep. And then Kobe's, you guys. Yeah, for a couple years there, we've had Kobe's. This is two years ago. It's kind of nice now. They've really dialed the color in. They've got to our darker color, which matches our uniform better. And they customized a little Spartan head on the back. So the guys this past year, what were they into the most? I think more so than anything was probably the Paul George. And, and for the first time was the LeBron. Usually LeBron was a much bulkier shoe. They really took the weight out of uh, the LeBrons. It's a heck of a shoe now. 
Now into the PK80 stuff. Awesome calls. That awesome. was another creation of our athletic director, Mark Hollis. Wow. That was his brainchild. Man, That's the Kobe, the LeBron. This was a giant surprise when we went out to everybody. It wasn't part of the package when we ordered them, so right, it was right, a giant right, surprise. Right. And Kyrie. that's the Kyrie. We haven't worn that. That was the first time we got a chance to wear that because Kyrie's a Duke guy and yeah, he keeps yeah. it pretty crazy. close there. Yeah, pretty close. And then your PG. You guys know it's the reflective uh, yeah, swoosh. Yeah. You know what that was for? What is that? The sunglasses that Phil Knight always wears. Uh, yeah, so there's nothing that Nike does that's just thrown out there. It's right. always telling story a story. Telling. And last but not least here, the KD, PK80 as well. Yep. Now we're in the Breslin Center. This is where all Michigan State's basketball games are at. The baskets aren't up and the bleachers aren't out. A really special part of Breslin, I think, is the fans and the students are right on top of everybody. A lot of places you go, you have multi-purpose facilities, so you have ice in there, and yeah. that just takes away from the advantage. No offense to those schools. It gets real, real loud in here. Now, Dave, I'm gonna put you on the spot. I have to. Top three most memorable moments here. You know, one of the top ones, current assistant, uh, Dwayne Stevens seals the ball at the end of the game and lays it in for a bucket that wins the Big Ten Championship in 1989-90. The other one is in the national championship year, probably, right, you know, beating right, Michigan. Right. That was a great, great game. Another good one was uh, Miles Bridges just last year yeah. against Purdue. Mm -hmm. Right at the top of the key, right there. Turn around and boom, you know, <laughs> that won us a Big Ten Championship too. I'm gonna uh, name a few players in Michigan State basketball sure. history and you give me something you remember about them the most. Draymond Green. Winner, program guy. Do whatever it takes to win a game. He is a Spartan mm -hmm. for life. Mateen Cleaves. Leader, soldier. You're hitting a common theme. Another guy that would do whatever it takes to win. Yeah. Champion. Mo Pete. Exciting, caring, flint. Mm. I remember the, the shots he made in Detroit to send us to the Final Four right, against Iowa right. State. That, that whole group was really such a community-driven group. Steve Smith. Class. He won the largest gifts in school history and named it after his mother, an academic center. Last but not least, I have to, the magic man. Oh, charismatic, champion, success, Lansing. Very, very special. I always look forward to the Thanksgiving break because Irvin's always back with Larry and the rest of the family, uh, and they always celebrate Thanksgiving here in Lansing and his dad still comes to the games and sits up in the box up there. I missed one. I'm actually a left-handed guy, so one of my favorite Spartans is uh, Zebo. Oh, 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 I love Zebo. I wish we had him more in a year. Right, right. Oh, man, he was great. Just been extremely successful. Though. Yeah. And his game is all below the rim. And yeah. Wow, was he gifted. Now we're in the locker room. Brand new addition here. Uh, just finished is new barber shop and guys are already getting a lot of use out of that. Yeah. You know, we even have a con guy that's contracted to cut the guy's hair. Uh -huh. Coach is big about family and tradition and we got a lot of tradition at Michigan State. One thing that's sticking out to me where all the lights are over here is all the Spartans that have played in the NBA. Yeah, they got to update a few of those. Of course, you see uh, Draymond Green there, Scott Skiles. And I'm not sure a lot of people know Eric Snow even played at Michigan State. And uh, Shannon Brown. Which guy, when he came in as a freshman, you knew all of a sudden, like, that is NBA lottery written all over him. Oh, you mentioned the lefty earlier, Zach Randolph. Oh, really? Okay. Oh, yeah, you could see him right away. That was, that's an NBA player. Now, Dave, I noticed uh, when we walked in here, you, you kind of tightrope the right side of the Spartan head. What is the tradition here? Yeah, you're just not allowed to uh, step on the Spartan head. We've got to add another medallion here to this floor. Yeah, Maybe it's we... about time. Yeah, it is time. It's long overdue, I think. Seven Final Fours in Izzo era, and mm -hmm. uh, we just got to get another one. Speaking of Izzo, I love Izzo. Izzo is, is amazing. He's a game in himself <laughs> to watch. What are your most memorable moments with Izzo during the game, during a practice? I think that, you know, people see the animation on the sideline, but it's the hours that he spends off the courts with the guys. I mean, I've seen him literally come back from a road trip and when guys just had a bad game, just bring him up to the office for an hour, hour and a half, just sit and talk to him mm -hmm. at one in the morning. You know, most people would just want to get home to their family or just go to bed like I like to do. You know, you only see that excited look of Izzo, but you don't see how much he really cares about the kids in the school. Now, the lockers themselves, awesome design, right? Oh, the nice thing is with the circular design is Coach will be sitting up there diagramming a play or going down the scouting report, and he can sit there and see everybody's eyes. So, you know, and mm -hmm. everybody's, once again, family, yeah. circle, we're in together. We just updated the locker room last year, and it's nice with these big pictures. One thing they can get 
you know, shoot for is these logos that they put on top, the Final Four, and these are the different tournaments we won. We got to get the Big Ten Championship from last year up there. And you can change them and, and create different looks too with those. They're, they're big, huge magnets. You know, we're really, really blessed to have this wonderful, beautiful locker room here. But one of the things we just built last year to uh, encourage our former players to come back and feel more welcome and have a spot to work out at is an alumni locker room. It's got a steam room in there and we got name plays for the players and they use it frequently. We got the Draymond Green weight room upstairs. It's named after Draymond because he gave, I think it was $3 million to the university. I mean, it's a really large, spacious weight room that looks onto our auxiliary gym. And we're really thankful for Draymond for that. Now, for one lucky viewer, we actually have a prize package uh, given to us by Michigan State Basketball Program. Follow Koiski Media, C-O-I-S-K-I Media, on Instagram and Twitter to find out how to win that prize. Subscribe to our YouTube channel to check out more videos, such as our segment on Loose Cannon. If you ever find yourself in the Michigan area, stop by the shop of our friends at Loose Cannon for everything fresh, such as sneakers, streetwear, art, curated vintage, and more. Follow them at Loose Cannon Brand for more info.